What's going on guys? It's Mark from Prime Toys Media. Welcome to the Weekend Toy Review. Today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Adventures Jackson. Yup, that green rabbit, tricks looking fool, but let's go. There it is, Jackson, Star Wars, uh, the green bunny rabbit, tricks are for kids, all that. Box is pretty cool, lots of nice artwork on the side, all taken from the comic book. Little timeline, you can see on the back of the box there, from 1971 to 2021. 50 years of Lucasfilm. Uh, this side, not too much to show, just his name and a picture. But the reason you get this box is because it opens up and you get some more art on the inside. Nice clear window. They do put his bio on the side there. Jackson is nearly a six foot tall Greenford, leppy smuggler and captain of the rabbit's foot. Known for his wise cracks and high kicks, Jackson has helped Han Solo and Chewbacca out more than one occasion. Not much comes with the figure, just him and his two laser blasters, so let's get him out of the package. Before I get too far into this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, you get the uh, figure here based on his animated appearance. It's the animated costume, but he's way more detailed to go with the other Black Series figures, so he's not cartoony. So it's a weird mix, kind of a hybrid of the two. Like I said, he comes with his two blasters. We'll get those in his hands in a second. So the package says he is six feet, which means he comes in right about six inches. You can see there on the screen. Typical Hasbro figure height. The detail on him is really good. I do like the sculpt, although seeing a alien green rabbit is weird. I wonder if he were to paint him white or a gray, maybe even a brown if he'd still look like a rabbit. You can see the texture on his face. It's hair-ish. Supposed to be hair, but I don't know. He's got the mohawk going on. His costume has all the little ridges and details. He is including holsters, so let's stick one of his guns in there. Sits in there pretty nice. Get the other one in the other holster real quick. There you go. So you can hold both his blasters. Nice detailing all the way through, you know, on the fabric, chest plate, back side. It's got the typical peg holes for his feet on the bottom. Now, if you're familiar with Jackson from the Adventures series, I never read that batch of comics. I remember him from the old Marvel, kind of based on the movie series. And he was an odd character. You know, they introduced him. He was kind of the Jar Jar Binks of his day. Not very popular, kind of awkward, weird seeing. Almost a Rocket Raccoon type scenario, right? It's an alien creature from another planet, not from Earth, but considers itself a rabbit and uses all the Earth descriptions and things to describe itself. Doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. Articulation-wise, ball head, nice tilt. Only has, whoop, only has single elbows, but there's no pin. Hand spin and pivot. He does have double knees. His feet just pivot forward and back, no turning. He does have a swivel at the upper thigh. Upper chest twist, not at the waist though. Shoulders go all the way around. So the costume's flexible, it doesn't get in the way, which is nice. So you might want to pop his head off and put a different character on him if you're not a fan of the rabbit. 
I like him. I think he's interesting, although he'll never be a favorite. When I'm doing dioramas or some sort of photography and I need an oddball creature for the background or even for a main confrontation, I think he'll work good. Let's see how easy his hands can hold his guns. Now it's a nice change. A lot of times the trigger finger doesn't quite line up with uh, the actual trigger of the gun or fit inside the trigger guard. And his right hand does really nicely. His left hand's not going to, but we'll stick it in there anyway. There you go. So you can dual wield his uh, laser blasters. Pew pew. But enough of this. Let's get him posed with some other figures so you can see how they're going to look, or he's going to look on a display. First things first, let's see him with another Star Wars character. We got Zailbar here. Looks good. Zailbar's nice and tall compared to him, which he should be, but they'll look good on display together. Real quick with my hand out of the way. Another six inch figure that should match up pretty well. Got a Hasbro Power Ranger for them outer space adventures. Looks pretty good with the Red Ranger there with the uh, Dragon Zord armor. Next up, because he is an alien, uh, he can be considered shorter if you wanted to pose him with some McFarlane figures. A little short if you're going to compare him to Batman here. If you're figuring that Zaxxon is truly six feet, that would make Batman here like seven and a half feet tall. But if you consider Batman to be about six feet, then this would put Jax Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Uh, let me know in the comments how I, if it's Jax or if it's supposed to be like Zaxon, where the J is more of a Z sound. Anyway, this would put the rabbit at around five foot or so, which still doesn't look bad, right? And finally, with a NECA Ninja Turtle. Now the body sculpt is a little different, obviously, but still doesn't look too bad with this character. You could see a slimmed down rabbit running around with the Ninja Turtles. That's it for the comparisons. Let's get out of here with some cool picks. 